hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i watercolor this method should take you three minutes <laughs> of course it took me longer so don't mind that so first i'm going to start off with the color adore jade and i'm just gonna pour your um, um, pour this uh, color into a bowl of hot steaming water from off of the stove mix it around with my comb and start dipping my 613 hair into the water this color is like a teal color you can say but it's really really cute as you can see i'm just dipping the hair into the bowl and brushing it through to make sure it gets on every single strand of hair to you know distribute the color and make sure it gets all around Now I'm just gonna dump out the water and pour a new um, a bowl of steaming hot water and then pour another Adore Jade into the bowl because I kinda didn't get the top as colorful as I wanted to. So I just decided to use another bottle of Adore Jade because as you can see, the bowl that I was using was really, really small. So of course I couldn't get all of the hair in there at once. And then plus the weave was like soaking up the water. So I just decided to start over with a whole new bottle to just make it look um, even and seamlessly instead of just using the same um, <clears throat> bowl that I had to begin with. Now I'm just showing you how the Adore J color came out. I'm just brushing it through and making sure the color is everywhere and showing you how vibrant this color truly is before I move on to the next color to give it that ombre effect. I'm just brushing it here all into one direction and pouring the water out so I can start on the next color. And now I'm going to take my Adore. This is in the color Baby Blue. I don't think I... um typed it in on the screen correctly which is fine um but this is the color baby blue this is gonna be the second color that i use on this wig and as you can see here i'm just dipping the hair into the water but i'm not bringing it all the way to the top because i still want that teal slash light blue color to be up there to give my hair this ombre effect that I'm looking for. But I'm also, when I'm brushing the hair out, I'm brushing it from the top all the way to the ends just to make sure that the color is even and it doesn't give any harsh lines. Or you can't see like the line of demarcation between the two colors. So I'm making sure that I'm brushing it from the top all the way to the bottom. And the final color that I use is the Adore Emerald. Now this color was kind of pretty hard to like pull off. I should have I should have did this color before I did the baby blue because this color technically is darker. It's like a dark green bluish kind of color. It's really, really pretty. It did give a dark effect at the ends of the hair, which we, you will see at the end of the video. So yeah, I'll just show you how I just dip the tips of the um hair in there and not the full wig but i'm also brushing from the top to the bottom of the wig 
as always, to um, knock out that line of demarcation and make the ombre effect look very seamless. And this is the final look. I think it came out pretty, pretty good. It still has like the teal blue of um, light blue all the way down to a dark, pretty, pretty, pretty blue. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video, which will be another wig tutorial coloring. I'm not sure yet, but thanks for watching. Bye.